by Foundation Pune. This we are seeing, this is the sacred grove of Pune district, Bolgar sacred grove, Taluka Valley district, Pune of Western Ghat, India. Now you will find in such a sacred grove, the river originates from a, uh, a small stream to rivers. So this will find this uh, a pond having a lot of water where the river originates. And this is the sacred Ambega, Bhima Shankar area. This is the sacred grove in Kori, Goa. Perine stream originates in sacred groves. And this is when the sacred grove stream starts from Madegat, Mark Shrimi sacred grove, Vele, Pune. So we have studied such a sacred groves, hundreds of sacred groves we studied. And we found that because we want to do the plantation, right? Everyone is starting plantation in every year. So what type of plantation we should have? So this sacred road teaches us what they have means what they have big trees, small trees, shrubs, grasses, creepers. So we studied all this flora of this sacred grove and we'd make a, a plantation plan. Right. So this is the, I see, this is the dense area of this uh, sacred groves a very virgin forest dedicated to deity. It is the apex physical systems because there is no human interference due to deity. Such a devrai is a biodiversity hotspot sustained to hundreds of years. Actually, they are the gene pools and the ideal role of a forestation because everyone wants to do the forestation, but it's called as a restoration. So by way of this sacred grove means we call this a man-made there, right? We can make the plantation of sacred grove. This is the aerial view of Balga sacred grove. We can see how dense it is. So these are the silent features of the right? sacred groves. We'll find this giant buttered trees, you know, floor of orchids, no, because there is no human interference. So this is from the December 2020. And after two years, you will find, see how this happened. Because of human interface, it is all vanished greenery. So this is going, this is happening most of the Devrai sacred groves. So these are the save my home or creature, no one. Because it's time to back to the nature. So when we want to plantation, we have to plant like a sacred grove where biodiversity will be regenerated. So why we need sacred grove? Because no one can grow sacred grove as it was, but we can make by man-made devrais, where the ecosystem will provide the ecosystem services, carbon six. This sacred grove recurs aquifers where it also conserves the soil and its microfauna and flora. It is a hotspot for biodiversity. It is a gene pool of plant species. And there are many thousands of sacred all over the, our country, even out of the country. In Ethiopia, it's called as a church forest. So you will find many sacred all over the world. Now, these are the elements of the Devrai Foundation because we cannot make the original one. So we call it as a man-made sacred groves. Why we are going to make the sacred groves? Because our 400 generations, they have cut the trees, virgin forest, for their daily needs. Because our ancestors, they cut for their daily needs. So now it, our duty is to restore it. But who will guide this? We say that sacred grove guide us because thousands of years, no one has cut the trees, not the planted trees. So if you plant, if you study that species and we plant a plantation plan, so this way we can give back to the nature. So we need to restate the nature by creating our devrai and our ganvan forest. There is also one technique we have designed, one uh, dense forest that is a substitute for miyaki. This man-made sacred grove, it also reserves the flora and fauna and biodiversity. Our model, is a you know, United Nations Development Goals. At least seven points they also cover from the sacred groves. Our method is scalable. We have the plan for one acre. 
but this is scalable number of acres we can increase so that how to say it can be re replicable it's a economical sustainable work because everyone can do it because it need it needs only land water so water provision and the protection of the area if, if this thing is there anyone can grow the sacred groves and this is such type that we should have a very less carbon footprint if we increase our carbon footprint then we can't do anything because we are not then saving the nature so all this our technique are very cost effective and this restoration concept need and flora and fauna